Hello Makeup Void, I'm the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to the, my channel. Today is going to be the Pan That Eyeshadow Project Pan update for June. That is always a mouthful. So um, as always, we are changing the game, we're changing the playing field because I've just been really struggling this month with this project and I just, I needed a way to change things up. I needed to make this project um, fun and interesting for me again. So we're gonna do that, but before we officially get going into the update, Again, I'm the Makeup Schizophrenic. I have Schizoaffective Disorder and I wanted to create a place where I can talk about my favorite hobby, makeup, and on the side, bring in some more information about Schizoaffective Disorder to the internet, Just trying to show you guys that we're not a bunch of crazy people. I mean, sometimes we are, sometimes. I, am, I, I have my moments, okay? But just to fight that stigma. So with all that said, let's get going. I'm going to go into the majority of the changes once we get into choosing the new eyeshadows but the first rule we're going to bring in is the 30 uses goal because i am struggling so hard with a shadow and can you guess what it is yeah this is uh, i'm trying to do the shade dirty martini from the juicy olive palette when i say i've been panning trying to pan this shadow for months i mean literal months probably since december so just this month alone i used this shadow seven times okay and over the course of this year i used it um math 21 26 34 so including this month i've used this palette 41 times still no still no freaking pan and i i bring this up every month i'm struggling and i was gonna roll it out last month but i was like i'm so close to hitting pan i'm gonna keep going and i was like no you're not no no you're not and i just i'm not having fun anymore like this has really been the shadow in this project where I'm just bored, I'm not having fun, I'm trying to create looks that are different and interesting and I'm just failing at this point because with 41 uses, I can do a lot of changing things up with 41 uses, but for this, it's just been a struggle. Now also, I am actually using all of my Project Pan eyeshadows on my eyes today. This just kind of went zero to 60 really fast and I am absolutely loving for it. So the part that I use this palette on my eyes today is I did my winged eyeliner and I packed this shadow over the wing just to, so it's not completely black. And then I used it on the lower lash line. So yeah, we are rolling this out. It's way more than 30 uses. I just, I, I just need, I need a break. We're, we're, we're going on a break. I still love the palette, don't get me wrong, but no. We have to stop. Okay, let's talk about the BH Cosmetics Pistachio Palette and the shade Coner Cup. This month, I used it eight times. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty fair for the eight months, um, the eight times going so far. I've, I've definitely, I'm working in, we're creating that dent in the shadow. I've never panned a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow, so I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but I brought it in because it's the deepest shadow in the palette, and I really enjoy using it. I love creating that depth. It's an absolute fave. Ho hopefully I keep feeling that way for, 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 for the times to come. I'm just gonna talk about these two in tandem. I haven't hit pan on either of these. We have the Hot Jalapeno and the Elf Meant to Be. I use Meant to Be 10 times and I mostly use it as an inner corner highlight it's very pretty as that um today I kind of did like the multi shadow cut crease deal so it's kind of like on the inside of my eye and a little bit up and then this I'm doing like this <laughs> you can't see because of glare um I have used this shadow I don't I've used it's the brightest mint in here I've used this 10 times like I just said I have fun using it, um, it's just pretty much an inner corner highlight for me. So I have been able to jazz a few things up with it. What kind of stopped me from using this shadow more this month is that I was doing testing out the um, Give Me Glow Cosmetics Pastel Dreams palette and there's a mint green in there. So I def if I didn't have that palette to test out, I probably would have used this a lot more. In terms of... <laughs> In terms of the Hot Jalapeno palette, me only using it five times, not much progress. I honestly forgot about this shadow for the majority of the month because it's a quads. I lose quads quickly 
or easily even though they're right on my vanity and they're easy reach that's why I keep them there I'm still I, I forgot about it I really did this shadow is like on the center of my crease I did remember to use this shadow actually one of my favorite ways to use it was on the lower lash line because it, it looks I'm gonna, I should be swatching all these I always forget so we'll start with Ha Jalapeno. It's a really pretty, you know, kind of in the same vein of the Juicy Olive palette, but it has a little bit more of kind of that grassy green vibe to it. So I like it on the lower lash line. It kind of brings a nice freshness to the look, if that makes sense. Um, not necessarily more vibrant or anything, but it's just kind of that nice little shimmer pop, and I think it really thrives on the lower lash line. So I have been enjoying using it for that. In the meantime, let's stall and swatch everything else out. Um, I try to stall kind of when I'm talking about the individual shadows because I like to throw out pictures of me um, spotlighting the shadows during the month and I just can't really do that. I, I, I mean, <laughs> four of the five shadows in this project have been green, so it's really hard to kind of have them stand apart on their own. Um, the meant to be shadow is actually really easy to do that though. And like just kind of the same with like corner cup. I pretty much always use it like on the um, the outside corner of my eye just to always do that depth. It's pretty much been my go-to for that. So now enough stalling. So the last shadow, you should know what's coming and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of cheated on it. It's coming from the festival palette and I hit pan in Odogwu. Odogwu man, I hit pan on it. I hit pan on it today. Uh, it's like it's like on the outermost part of my crease between like corner cup and uh, liner and yeah I hit pan on it and I I was so close I've been so close to hitting pan on the shadow like for real this month so today I was just I kind of did the little fake cheating where I kind of like dug into a little bit because I knew I was really close I mean I've panned a few Juvia's Place shadows before so I knew I was like right there so I like uh, it's a little too deep to use as a face highlight, but I still kind of did on my nose. Um, I used it as an inner corner, and then I actually tapped on Uli from this palette as well, just to kind of bring up my inner corner. She did a little bit. Also, what made it pretty easy to try to use more this month is that I tried to do the whole using eyeshadow as nail polish kind of vibe uh, with this, and it kind of failed. So I ended up covering up that shadow um, that I was using on my toes. I was using it on my toes as like a test. I kind of messed it up so I just put more nail polish on top of it but I did hit pan on it so we're technically rolling out two shadows. One because it's an absolute void and this one because I cheated a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Uh, and that's the thing. I knew that like if I brought still kept it in for this month that I would hit pan on it. Like I knew 100% and because I was so close I did the little you know cheat cheater thing but I still did it I still did it it counts and for this month I used the festival palette um that shadow 11 times so out of all the shadows in this project pan for this month I used it the most so if you're new to the project what I do is instead of letting the pretty random app completely have control of this project I have all of my palettes on my own spreadsheet or I use a doc we're doc and whatever, like if pretty random gives me like a hundred, it's there's no hundred, there's not a hundred options. Then whatever palette that is, then I will choose the individual shadow in the palette for me to pan. So I have a little bit of control. But we've added a few things to this project. So what I was kind of doing for the most part in this project was once I hit a pan on a shadow this year, I have taken that palette out of the dock. But because there were a few palettes that I hit pan on very early in the year, um, one of them being the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette, I hit pan on like the lightest shade, um, the lightest shimmer in that palette. So since I like hit that goal in like February, I put that back into the palette or back into the project. I also did the same with the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. And then the new, new additions, well my new eyeshadow palettes are already in here, but the new additions, I have included a veto. So I can veto any shadow I want out of this project. I got this idea from Emily Max's Deck of Panning Project Pan because you know what? That veto just sounded so amazing to try. I've also included the True Eyeshadow Randomizer. So if I um, get that number, then I have to go to all of my single eyeshadows, 500 whatever they are, 
and, and I and I have to have that be randomized for me. So that is that's that's what makes sense. I added what else have I added? So I think the last thing I added to the dock this month was also dealer's choice. So if I roll dealer's choice, that means I can choose any single thing that I want. Like this is, that's gonna be complete control. True eyeshadow, project pan is completely out of my control. Dealer's choice is completely in my control. So we're balancing things out. So with all of those things, added the new palettes, all of that, I have 48 options. And I have also included like little bundles of singles. I did this like a couple months ago. So like, um, uh, what's a good example? Um, my Terra Moon shadows, I have five of them. So they're not in here. Terra Moon's not in here. Okay, we're gonna have 49 because I need to add the two um, Terra Moon shadows in here. I have no idea when the video is going up, but I did also do a declutter of my single eyeshadows. So that video is coming soon. I have decluttered a lot from that. So that if we get one of those bundles of singles, that's probably gonna be a spoiler for that video, but hopefully you don't remember it by then. All right, now we have 49. Let's go into Pretty Random. Someone, Pretty Random really needs to sponsor like a creator because the amount of people I see use this app is insane. Okay, randomizing two, 15. Still need to write this down because my memory's trash. So 15, what is that? 18, okay. Those aren't my, <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell you right now, those are not my bonus additions. 15 is the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. Okay, and 18 is the Elf Bite Size Sultry Palette. We're, that's getting, okay. <laughs> That's getting re-rolled right now, and I'll explain in a minute as to why we're re-rolling for the sultry, so. Hello. 17. Wow. This is another bite-sized palette, and we're re-rolling again. Am I cheating? Yeah, but I'll explain why I'm rolling over those two things in a second. Can we get something that's not 31? Okay. 31 is the Wahala too. Fuck me. Okay, well, I have, what did I first get? Um, the Rustic Lamb and the Wahala too. This palette has been in this project for so, so much. But fate has determined it. We're gonna grab those two palettes and I'll be right back. First things first. The reason why I immediately <laughs> skipped over the two bite size palettes is because for the Soul Tree palette, I technically just hit pan on it. I hit pan on the dark brown shade this month or this week because I hit pan on the um, honorable mention shade. Um, at the very, very beginning of this project, I did an honorable mention for the ColourPop Shadow Roundhouse and this wasn't included in the five, but I said at that point, once I hit pan on this shadow, I'll go into the Sultry palette and use that dark brown as my brow shade. So, <laughs> I already hit paint on the goal of what I was going to do and like if I hadn't done that I probably would have kept this palette also the black completely shattered sometime this year so I didn't think about that going in to that so I have to find a new brow eyeshadow to use I have an idea we'll get to that in a bit um I'll use an EBH shadow um, that I will maybe talk about I don't know and the reason why I'm not doing carnival is because another shadow broke and I, well, okay, maybe I could have chosen the blue, but then that would have made three of my Elf Bite Size palettes into this project, and I really don't like these eyeshadows. Like, I like them, like, the quality is fine, but I don't like quads. I realized that about myself this year. I don't like quads. And I did declutter two of my Bite Size palettes before this video, um, so yeah. <laughs> maybe I should just declutter both of those right now mini declutter coming in now so the only other shadow in this quad i really like is the silver and i have silvers everywhere else so we'll do a swatch right there it's pretty mm, i'm gonna keep them still but they're not being a part of this project 
did I say at some point in this project that I only want to work on one brand at a time? I feel like I might have said that. But then I forgot. Maybe I said that. I don't know. Okay, we're going to go into Rustic Glam. And I want to be the cop out so ridiculously bad. But here's Rustic Glam. Actually, it's kind of funny that this is in the project. Because this is one of those palettes that I was going to be tempted to declutter this year. But since I'm not, and there's uh, more colors to choose besides green shadows, I'm not doing a freaking neutral. <laughs> I don't want to use a neutral shadow at all. I think I love moon shadow, that deep, chunky blue. Hmm, what do I want to use? I feel like Gypsy is calling to me. Gypsy is the purple metallic over here. <laughs> I feel like such a hypocrite because I know earlier in this year with this project I was like I'm sick of pink and purples. So I'm so sick of them. But every time I open Rustic Lamb, uh, not wowing me. I need to do another swatch but that's Gypsy. Ooh, should I do a blue instead? I'm gonna do a blue inside. I'm changing my mind. This is why I get to control what I choose, because I am a control freak. All right, changing it up, uh, we're gonna go choose Evil Eye, which is this matte blue, because it's totally pretty and it's really calling my name right now. And it'll go well with the green, so. <gasps> Dominique Cosmetics and their mattes are so good. Like, she does such a good job with them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, for sure, I love that. Covering glitter, so we're gonna do Evil Eye out of this palette. And now just watching that blue, I'm like, man, maybe I should keep the palette. Maybe I should. Let's go into a haul. <laughs> this is by far, it's still going to be by far my most used palette this year. It was in my deck of panning. It was in this project already. Um, why, did, why was greed in here? I think I rolled this palette and I chose greed. How did I do that? No, I remember how I chose green because I couldn't decide on which shadow to roll in, so I did it randomly. Should I do that again? Am I willing to test fate that way? I'm so torn on what I want to choose out of this palette because when I first saw that it was the Wahala 2, I wanted to do the cop-out of choosing one of the pressed glitters because I, I, like, I like panning pressed glitters. I, they're easy, too, um, but I also kind of don't want to. What does fake look like? Oh, it's like, a, it's, oh yeah, it's like a duochrome. Or would I dare say it's a multi-chrome? It would bring in the purple that I want. Let's watch it down here. And it's such a nice smooth. That's so pretty. But the time of year it is. But it would look so good with some of these shadows. And I don't really go for like my duo or multi-chromes. And it would give me the purple that I'm craving again. It's so pretty. It's gonna be fake. We're gonna we're gonna bring in fake. Okay. <sighs> well, holiday strikes again. But I mean this shadow is just so pretty and I I don't reach for it. Um I think I've just been really intimidated and it's almost like a putty. It's like really soft and like silky. Like it's not just like a lot of like the duochromes, multichromes that I've kind of been trying this year, they have like some sort of chunkiness to it, but this is like silky. And I'm kind of not, oh my gosh, the more I swatch it, the more I fall in love with it. Okay, fake it is. And we have a very cool tone color story. Not mad at it at all. Oh my gosh, I'm just still looking at it. I don't know how well you're going to see the shift on camera. And I can't turn my wrist like that. All right. This is my color story. It's what we're going into. My goodness. Okay. That's it for today's video, guys. If you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm, even though I'm only really active on Instagram and past few weeks, I've been bad at that. So, But on Instagram, I do make a point to 
um, share my stories when a new video is up. So if you want to stay more on top of that, top of it that way, top of my upload videos that way. And then um, sometimes I'm even better at that too. I'm really failing at social media. I think I've kind of, I have my ways, my ways to social media where I'm like really into posting and stuff. And I think I'm just in that phase where I just don't really want to, I just want to hide underneath like a blanket and hide from everybody. So, um, but that's it guys. Just, if you don't mind, just do me one more favor, okay? Just, just one more favor. And I want you guys to have joy. Find joy seek joy, never give up on looking for joy. Bye!